We're Dominic and Haley, filmmakers and adventure seekers. We just completed the Wicklow Way in Ireland, an 82-mile trek from Dublin to Clonagall. Originally, we planned to walk all the way down to Cork, a walk that would have taken three of the four weeks we have left in Ireland. But at this point, we're facing unforeseen injuries and have to adjust those plans. Stay tuned to watch us limp, stumble, hitchhike, and bus our way to Cork. Oh, and if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and like it. We made it. Oh, my love. You're such a fragile thing. Uh, last night, I'm Buddy Clody, and tonight we're about to spend the same, or uh, another night. Um, and a lovely lady just gave, gave us a lift from the town. Fiona. Fiona. Um, luckily, she, she gave us a lift up this real steep hill. Uh, and she gave us a lift further into the woods than we were last night, which is good. Uh, and I think we're back on the trail now, so we might end up hiking some more tomorrow. Yeah, we booked a hostel in Cork six days from now. So we're certainly not walking the whole way like we planned, but we might be walking the next couple days to just kill time. And then we've got two days guaranteed in Cork. I'm lying. And I'm lying. We got an early start. Uh, we just slept right here on the side of this path last night. Um, and we are about three hours into the mountains, even further than we were last night, because we were hoping we might just hit the trail this morning. But then last night, our propane tank died. So we would not be able to cook food for the next however long week or so until we got to Cork. So we decided that even though we have no idea where we're going to sleep tonight, we're just going to get a bus and head to Cork today anyway. So we're going to walk the long two and a half, three hours back to town, get some coffee and then catch a bus. prepare for something new whatever it was that held me back i'm sure it wasn't true we're in court holding on we're to cool. on on so we, so we, we love yeah we were walking up this road and it was a, like this really really tall hill headed to this campsite out, outside cork uh and we barely put out a thumb like we were trying a little bit but it we was the trying. most half-assed thumb yeah. I've ever done we in my were, life. We weren't really trying to hitchhike. I actually looked over my shoulder and when I saw it was a taxi, I just put my hand limply down and he <laughs> pulled over anyway. This taxi driver pulls up next to us. He says, he says, oh, put your bags in the boot. And I was like, oh, well, well we don't really want to pay for a taxi. Or I didn't even say anything like that. I just, I didn't really say anything. He goes, he goes, I won't charge you for it. Just throw them in the back. <laughs> and I was like, okay, yeah, yeah. And I was like, as long like, uh, if you can just get us to the top of this hill and he goes he goes yeah yeah i'll get you to the top of the hill and i was like awesome i was like we're headed up toward blarney he goes oh the campground's up there and i said yeah that's that's actually exactly where we're, where we're going he goes oh i'm headed there right now <laughs> so this guy this taxi driver just gave us a lift like for free, for free just across cork up the hills up the mountains and dropped us about one like kilometer. one kilometer, one kilometer from the campsite. It was gonna be like a two hour walk through yeah. town, over hills, with a giant grocery bag. Yeah. This grocery bag to be exact. And yeah, we just made it in like 15 minutes. <gasps> 15 minutes flat. That's gotta we be record time. We love hitchhiking. God bless the Irish. <laughs> yeah, God bless the Irish. This is by far our most glampiest spot that we've had so far. We actually went ahead and just paid for a camping spot outside of Cork because uh, we were scared of Cork. 
um, <laughs> and nobody on Couchsurfer ever got back to me. So we got the spot, it's 30 euro a night, which is pretty steep for our budget. Um, but honestly, it's kind of worth it. We've got free access to showers, a kitchen where we can wash all our dishes and cook if we want, um, and then pretty cheap washer and dryer for our clothes. So we're gonna decide tomorrow if we wanna stay for a couple more days. I'm so grateful for a bowl full of food. Where's my phone go? <laughs> we woke up to this. There's gotta be like 30 crows out there. <sighs> Yay for walking! <laughs> We've come to a block in the road, so I guess we're just going through it. Maybe. Maybe. There's a whole fence. No. Super closed off. Saying not to enter. What do you think? Alright. We just hitched a ride with a lovely Malaysian woman. So now we're actually pretty close to downtown Cork, so God bless her for that. <laughs> we still had we still had like I think three miles to walk. So she she cut off all of those. most of the way from Blarney to Cork. We were picked up by a lady who drove us maybe the second half of the way. And then we just sat at Starbucks for a couple hours while I let Adobe Premiere update and did a little bit of editing. And then it was raining and it was becoming the evening and we had no plan or idea of where we were gonna sleep. And so we walked almost, I don't know, a third of the way from Cork to Blarney and it was just downpouring rain, downpouring, it was awful. It was terrible. We couldn't find any bus buses that actually went to Blarney and so we ended up, <laughs> we ended up fl flagging down a cab, which is our first cab that we've taken, and it just so happened to be the same cab driver who gave us a free lift the other day up here in the first place. So that was an insane coincidence and he probably thought we were so stupid. Yeah. Um, so we ended up Something paying him this bad. time. <laughs> yeah. And um, and we yeah, came back. for like a five minute ride. It's actually kind of ridiculous. Yeah. We came back to the same campground. So we are here and we still don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow night for Sunday or how to get to mass tomorrow down in Cork yeah. and um, I gotta say this whole spontaneous traveling thing with no money is very hard it's yeah, very wasn't hard. Wasn't that hard when we were in the mountains? In the mountains no. It was really easy and nice. And I mean the Wicklow way was amazing and that was the best part of the trip yeah. so far since we've gotten to Cork I've regretted my entire existence so we've committed ourselves to one more night here at the campground because it's just so much more convenient than trying to find a place to stay near Cork because Cork's such a big city. So we'll be here for one last night and just take it easy. And then we're gonna, we've got the hostel tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. um, so right now we just left our packs and stuff at the campsite and we are headed to church.
documenting. One souvenir that I really, really want from this trip is a hoodie. And so I'm taking my decision very seriously. And we just left a store because I didn't love it. So I'm just going to keep looking to find the perfect one. Barney campsite, finally, uh, headed down into Blarney Village, so we're walking in the rain, and uh, hopefully I'm going to pick up some shoes today, uh, probably pick up some more food and hop on a bus down to Cork uh, to go to our hostel. First hostel, uh, got our own little locker down there. And we're sleeping upstairs, but yeah, finally we're in. Well, this is our room for the night. My bed, Haley's bed. We're not sure who's staying with us yet, but look at this view over, over Cork. It's actually fantastic. Got a view of the mountains. You can't really see them right now because it's a little rainy, but this tower is really cool. Over there, all the way to the church. We got to have a week of rest in Blarney and Cork, which allowed our bodies to heal and gave us time to make some new plans. We made our first couple friends in our campsite and at our hostel, which was lovely. <laughs> it was a huge weight off of our backs to have somewhere to leave our bags while we got to go explore. It's really frightening and also exhilarating to just show up in a new place with no expectations and no plan. It's challenged us both and forced us to get into the flow of just letting whatever happen and rolling with it. Everything seems to work itself out in the end. We're going to Lay Hinge, where the Burren Way starts, and then we're going to do the Burren Way. Alright, we just got to Lay Hinge after like six hours on a bus. I'm already exhausted, and we haven't even started walking yet. <laughs> so, we're walking straight into Straight into the rain today. Uh, first day on the trail, straight into the rain. Straight Sounds great. The uh, so yeah, we're we're headed the uh, to the beach right now. The, the trail starts along the beach. Excited to see where, where we get. Ah oh, yes, perfect day for a beach. 